This thing is the best thing ever. It holds all our clothes pins. As you can see, it's easy to wear and it's handy. No hands. It is definitely the best thing. morning the girls went and sorted through the rest of the tomatoes and took them to the kitchen basement so that we can do the last of the tomato work for this year later in the afternoon. The machine that we normally have to make our tomato paste was broken so we had to go back to our roots and make our paste today by hand and it was actually an interesting experience. <laughs> Parsley for the freezer. One heck of a mess. Look at Alice cleaning and putting those tomatoes. It is now 5.25 ish and we are finally done today. We started at around um, I'm not even quite sure. I want to say 12.30ish and we just now finished and I'm still wearing my gloves that I don't need so goodbye. We are officially done with tomatoes for this year and I'm so happy about it because tomato is a tomato, the tomato season and the tomato products that we have to make is um, it's a lot of work. It's always good to have it done and over with and goodbye and see you. And I think that is the last of our garden work and canning work for this year. Other than pumpkins, freezing pumpkins, but that is not, that doesn't take us long. Anyways, thank you for coming along with us and experiencing uh, a summer as a Hutterite and seeing what we do. Hi, Cordelo! Oh, Shadoom! <laughs> and then today we well we started by washing the tomatoes and then we made pizza sauce we made black bean chili we made tomato soup that is going to be that we put into buckets and put into the freezer and then early next year when it's still snowing outside and there's no tomatoes and no vegetables in season with the we make tomato we make vegetable soup with the tomato soup that we put in the freezer today. Last but not least, we made paste. And no, it's not one of my favorite jobs because it's always the last job. It always takes a long time and we always need a lot. And I've had a few accidents today. I got tomato paste poured on me. I got sprayed with it. 
my dress is orange instead of gray and I'm starting to resemble a tomato myself so yes today has been a how do you say this productive day <laughs> especially if you come out looking like a tomato These days we are getting back into the fall cleaning season. I like it actually. I like fall cleaning. Um, and we did have a hefty work day today, but I just I washed my bed and I decided that since I washed my bed, I'm also gonna go clean my ceiling and my lights and that's what I'm doing now. I'm washing my ceiling and washing my lights and getting it done and out of the way. Fall cleaning? Oy. It's a lot of work. Every little thing gets dusted. Every little thing. To be honest, today when we went to the basement to do our work, I was tired. I don't know why, I think it was still from my cook week. But towards the end of the day, I was totally fine and raring to go. And now I'm clean, starting to clean my room. So yeah, I must be feeling a lot better. We also take one of those Velida mops and also do the ceiling outside, mostly to get rid of spider webs, but we do that when it works. didn't vlog a lot today because wow excuse the noise is because today my entire day has consisted of fall cleaning I started cleaning my room after breakfast and it took me till 3 in the afternoon and then we went and cleaned and started cleaning the outsides and the grates in the kitchen because this week we're also doing kitchen cleaning. We are back to the yearly tradition of fall cleaning amongst other rats. I was just trying to get my room done this today because tomorrow at 5.30 we are going to go butcher geese 
we don't have the facilities around here so we go to a different call so we go to different colonies two times a year in july we butcher ducks and in october we do geese and with the bus it's about a three hour drive and because of the virus this year instead of going three days like we normally do we are going tomorrow getting up early butchering the geese and then coming home the same day it's gonna be a hectic day but we'll make it work it'll be fine but yeah see y'all tomorrow at 5 30. I have my book just in case. I have my earbuds for music. Sorry, I just woke up. My voice is horrible. Good morning. I have my pillow to sleep. Got my cup for coffee. And then on top of it, I'm gonna take this with me and take my breakfast with me because right now I only feel like coffee, but I know that I am going to get hungry on the way. So that is why I'm taking it. My boots and my apron are also ready to go. And we are ready to go butcher. There's people in the kitchen making us breakfast already. gunk is wax, year old wax that we put on the steps last year when fall cleaning and I'm gonna let the Formula 50 sit a bit so that it can eat away at it and then I can remove it better and hopefully we're gonna get them non-yellow soon. finished cleaning for, cleaning the kitchen for today at five we're we're not done yet we left the rest for tomorrow we still had another hour till supper but there's still a lot to do the appliances have to be cleaned and they're they're a lot and it takes a while to scrub through an appliance so we left it for tomorrow it's not tomorrow it's not gonna take as long as it did today but some of us wish we could have finished today, but it is what it is. <laughs>
Today we were fall cleaning the laundromat and we took apart one of the dryers. We took out the screws and this is all the lint and the dust that we found under there. We don't normally open it to do that because it's quite a process. We did it today. We found quite a huge surprise. It's not usually like this. And that was basically a week in my life. Most of our work this week consisted of cleaning. And there's only so much cleaning that somebody can watch till it gets old. So I hope you had a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Bye.